The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. Farming isn't just in the land, it's in you. Take control of weeds like never before. Enlist builds on the Roundup Ready system, combining proven control of a new 2,4-D and glyphosate in Enlist Dual Herbicide. Protect what matters without changing the way you farm. Talk to your seed or crop protection supplier today. alfalfa. Now hold on, if you're an alfalfa producer, we're not trying to kill your alfalfa, we know that's a crop. But the thing is, if you're going from the crop alfalfa, now you're trying to raise another crop. If you have volunteer plants, that could be the worst weed problem on your farm this year. All right, first of all, we've added some complication to this with Roundup Ready Alfalfa. Yes. Now, our best option, my favorite option, using Roundup to kill the alfalfa is taken off the table. Yep. So we've got a limited amount of herbicide options, and then we also think about tillage as well. Many guys over the years, Brian, and I'll question you on this, have used either tillage or high rates of 2,4-D. What do you think of those options? Well, I really don't like either one of them. Now, the problem with any perennial weed that you have is when you do tillage, you don't completely eliminate that root. So the root can still put up new shoots later, and many times we just spread that weed rather than actually controlling it. So with the perennial weeds with big roots, that's where the herbicides really pay over tillage. As far as 2,4-D, it's great burning stuff to the ground. It's just, it doesn't do the very best job killing roots and all. So that's where we get concerned. Hey, the other thing, when you mentioned this Roundup Ready Alfalfa, I get really worried because in soybeans, until we had Roundup as an option to kill the alfalfa, there was nothing. So I get calls from farmers all the time. They say, yeah, I got some volunteer alfalfa in my soybeans. What do I do? And I said, either cultivate or plow it up or you have to live with it. So once we go back to this, hey, we don't have any options other than Liberty if you want to plant Liberty soybeans. Well, the problem with Liberty is it doesn't have root activity either. It doesn't have the root activity like Roundup. Right? It's good at top but growth control. At least control. you burn it down. Yeah, at least you can keep it from competing against your crop. The other question we get, Brian, is what about do I take my first cutting in the spring and then kill the alfalfa <laughs> or should I kill it first. Well, it all depends on if you have water or not. So in a wet area, I don't have any problem if you want to take the first cutting. Or but if you have dry, irrigation. Yep, but in a dry area, that typically doesn't work in a normal rainfall year. So we want to get that under control actually in the fall. I know we're talking about this in the spring, but really we like controlling all the alfalfa in the fall and then we start clean in the spring and we don't have something pulling up our water and nutrients. But yeah, the earlier you can get out there, the better in the spring. But you do need some regrowth. So you'd really ideally like to see maybe four inches of regrowth or a little bit more. That way you know you have enough green material up there to take your herbicide in to get a good kill. Okay, so if it's not Roundup Ready alfalfa, just make sure you're using the maximum label rate of Roundup because, again, this is a tough weed and we want to kill it completely, not just kill it partially. When you say that, use the full rate of Roundup. I agree with that recommendation, but we hear from farmers all the time, well, I just used 32 ounces of a six pound Roundup, so I did a good job with that. I know I could have gone up to 44 or something like that, but 32 seemed to be enough. But what we find in many cases is those guys a month or so later are saying, oh no, I've got some new shoots coming up. I guess I must not have had enough to get all the way through that root system. And if you want to stop alfalfa from really hurting your yields, you've got to wipe it out that first time because now you've got weeds coming up in crop later in the season. That's tougher to control. And also, as Brian is mentioning, with the taking up of moisture, now it's that much longer time that that crop is taking up the moisture out of your soil and it's just going to hurt your yield that much more. The other thing is Roundup is cheap, so throw just a little bit more out there for another dollar or two. It doesn't cost much. Now, if you go to corn, you know, dicamba for years has been pretty good. A lot of people use the other products, the HPPDs, Stinger, things like that. That gets a little bit more questionable. My favorite is status, but if not, Banville or Clarity would be my choice in corn. Well, that's all time for this week's Weed, Volunteer Alfalfa, but Iron Talk is coming up next.